Hello friends! I'm gonna taking a look at the Lenovo D330 tablet, laptop sort of things and you can see small surface too as it's having 10.1 inch display with the Pixel Sense touch screen with 1920 and 1200 resolution. Let's dig in, what else with that? Look into the box. Let's see what's come up with that. And this is the Lenovo tab. We can see. Okay, nice one. And let's see what are the accessories with that. Wow, it's a nice keyboard. Really, it's pretty nice. We can see it's fully covered. Let's keep that box in the way. And the accessories area. Yeah with it. it's definitely adapter and the charger yes and the quick start for user manual how it how need to be open for the connectivity and what else we need to do a small quick guide for the users step by step we can see that right step by step we can see that yes this is the charger we need to connect and the security guide yeah okay and the windows 10 license this Lenovo adapter is made in China with the 45 watt and we have two type of real nice charger cable and another one based on your power cord let's keep those side and let's see what else with the keyboard it's lightweight and the touchpad is really nice it's a big touchpad which helps to control the mouse and let's have a try small typing wow it's nice yeah perfect it's pretty small keyboard but it's having all the necessary things such as all the things and it's compact all the necessary informations Let's unfold that Lenovo tab right now. We can see the real, we can see it's a really nicely covered that. Wow. Wow. It's pretty cool. It's really handy. And we can see the dock station and also the power connection button volume up and down nice and the charging port and this side okay so let's dock it with the keyboard One more information I must share with you. For the first time you turn on your 10 Lenovo tab, you need to keep on charging. For the very first time, you need to keep it charging. Otherwise, it's on be start. So I have done that and let's starting. Here we go. Here there's a small and basic configurations going on. Kodana will help us how to configure the basic setup. As you know, 
there's a really uh, basic things to turn on the first time any Lenovo tab or any tab to connect Wi-Fi and uh, the basic sort of things and the license agreement and definitely you'd need to put a tablet name like any other computer or any other device you do with the password and, you, and basically you need to create some security questions and you need to put some security answers if you forgot the password it will help you to recover the password by answering correct uh, security code correct security uh, questions answer and the Cortana make Cortana for your assistance uh, for the further assistance and uh, do more across device with the activity history yeah it's pretty cool so, it's pretty cool service uh, which might help you if you want to if you if you uh, change the device from one to another and to, to protect your device uh, just uh, put your first name last name reason and your email address to get the notifications uh, to get the update right so uh, let's press next and protect your device and just for a moment and Kodana helping us to uh, the other things, yes, it's done. Basic setup is completed right now, and we can see the first look of the Lenovo. Yeah, there's the start button, uh, the basic and default applications. Let's see what else inside of the device. Okay, yeah, this is the Windows 10. This device uh, came with Intel Celeron N5. 000 dual core 1.1 gigahertz processor with 4 GB RAM and 120 GB ROM storage capacity. And also it's having camera with photos with 2 megapixel and face-to-face -face chat with the Bluetooth 4.2 interface sync with the compatible device along with Wi-Fi. It also supports the USB in the keyboard and 3.5 mm jack headphone. It's really very really cool device. When you are traveling to anywhere, the airport or anywhere if you want to go, it's really cool for a hand carry because it's really One, it's really really lightweight 1.135 kg and the dimension is really cool 9.8 by 7.32 into 0.75 inches only and it's, it's really cool to type and to browse from anywhere and the touch is really sensitive it works really fine you can see the aged videos, you can browse your YouTube, whatever you want. And touch is really sensitive. And by tapping, uh, you can you can watch out the aged videos also. Here yeah, I have browsing one of my another video on my channel. So rotations is also see the how perfect tradition is how sensitive is that finally i would like to say this device is pretty cool and you can go for it if this support your requirements only and you can support me by like share and subscribe my channel and turn on the bell icon to get notification whenever i release any new videos have a fantastic day and i will see you in the next video till then take care